Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Court here. Court here. I feel like Blue's Clues when I say that. I feel like Steve. Okay, this is going to be week one. All right. Um, for those who are unaware, I, I have a busy week. I totally want to try to stay on schedule Mondays and Tuesdays with you guys with Zodiacs, and sometimes it just happens to be Tuesdays and Wednesdays. I will tell you there's five holiday weekends in one year. Um, I take like two of those off, okay? Memorial Day weekend and Labor Day weekend when it comes to Zodiacs. When I come back, I re recoup, I clean. I'm usually, especially Memorial Day weekend, usually in like very patriotic. So the energy for me is, is just a lot. So there would be no Zodiacs this week, but I would do more of collective reads and you will still have the other side on Patreon. Um, I hope you all had, and I almost said, a perfectly splendid weekend. We always camp. Um, and then my kids said to me, you know, why don't we ever do a cookout or why do we do nothing on Monday? And it's, it's, it's low key for me. I, like I said, with the energy, I just, it's more about, you know, remembering and celebrating, um, lives and it's just, it's tough. And even, um, it was beautiful. I went with my coffee yesterday and memorial services everywhere, like, you know, putting flags up in cemeteries. And I almost thought about going, but then I was like, Ugh. I almost thought about just actually popping in and stopping on one of them on the side of the road, just paying my respects. It's just, I don't know, it's totally past life for me thing. There's no question that I'm definitely linked. I'm linked to military this time around, but like there's something past life military at me. There's just no question. Um, for those who know me, I, I will sit and watch those coming home videos and cry for hours. And I started doing it with dogs. And I was saying it to Lonnie the other day. She FaceTimed me and I answered it and I was bawling. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm watching the draft picks. She's like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, it's life changing. Like these people and I know it's football and I know it's this. and But it's their life. It's their dream. And there's just something beautiful about those draft calls too, you know? Um, so anyhow, <laughs> for those who are new, I figured I'd fill you in. So you'll probably get a couple extra collective reads this week. I should really do a past life read with you guys. This is like my past life deck. It just always, this one and another one always just pulls me into past life. But, um, so if you pick up on that vibe, it's because I'm using that deck. I'm not going to go there, you know, but um, it's just going to be week one of June. Can't believe it's June already. Um, 2021. So let's see what we're looking at. Let's see what we're looking at. So current energy, and it won't be everybody's current energy, obviously. Okay. So we've got the full. We have, I didn't call out the other one. So we have the fool looking at judgment, okay? Well, okay, let me do this before I even get into it. What he or she is possibly thinking. So you're on one side and somebody else is clearly on the other. It's just, it is, it's time for a new start. You have the king of swords, the empress, one more. What he or she is thinking or feeling. And the five of swords so that's that's tough of energy this is more like taking a risk leap of faith okay definitely tougher I'm not gonna say this is any easier but this is like this is the world the world well it's the fool guys but the it's the first card okay in the deck after and the world is the last card so you're vibing at a zero which is amazing all right so you're making a judgment call regarding a situation in your life and moving forward. So this, to me, could e go either way, honestly. Um, but it is your energy, so it is a new opportunity. Okay. What you don't see coming, what you don't, will be something I just wanted to sing. Be coming around the mountain when it comes. You'll be coming around the mountain when it comes. 
You'll be coming around the mountain, you'll be coming around the mountain, you'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. <sighs> okay, so current past, two months ago, two days ago. Wow. So did you miss an opportunity? You look, you're going for a job. It's the Ace of Pents, right? It's, it's a golden opportunity. Um, so you either took it or you, or you didn't. Or maybe that's what you're contemplating. So again, two hours ago, two days ago, two months ago, possible outcome, please. So what you're not seeing in this situation is somebody's pretty upset, bent out of shape. Um, we have Justice and the Queen of Pence. The star at the bottom of the deck. So, like I said, I it's a new opportunity. But the current past, so I don't know if this is just like kind of like on your brain. Insane in the membrane. I don't really see insane, but... Um, majority of you people must know what this is. It's either a missed opportunity or it's something you're considering. Because that's the current past. So that's got to be like, let's stop there. Tell me about the current past. Two of swords. So you made a decision. It's either a feminine that made a decision or you made a decision or you were contemplating debating indecisiveness about a woman or vice versa so this has to do with a person so it looks like what is that the nine of cups so where your happiness lies dreams ten of swords so something's over so it, it's like you were contemplating or or somebody you were dealing with was definitely contemplating about having a new start, building something solid. Um, we do have two women here, the Queen of Pence and the Queen of Cups. Queen of Pence or the Empress is usually the wife card in a deck, but it could just be Earth Energy. Um, I normally read quicker than this, but I'm trying to break things down to you because I'm not doing the Zodiacs per se this week so trying to be thorough so you definitely had or still do it's not really telling me it's missed it's just making a decision regarding a woman or, or you're a feminine that's making a decision a again it could be a new job it's it's pinnacle so it's it's where are you going to invest your time now here again okay we have somebody who's willing to take a leap of faith and I want to say it's more of a leap of faith with judgment here than it is a risk. Could feel risky. It depends on your thought process when it comes to are you more of a pessimist or an optimist, you know? Um, and it's funny. I usually say optimist first. So you probably have someone here that's more of a pessimist. So tell me where this is going. Page of Swords, so this is somebody who's just kind of keeping an eye on you, thinking about things, jotting things down, really thinking, and you got the High Priestess, so this is either Destiny, this is a secret, this is somebody who might not be telling you, but you got the Four of Wands, this is a nice solid opportunity with the King of Pence, so this is somebody who's really considering um, definitely going in a new direction, brand new opportunity, rebuilding. Or building something new, fresh, solid. The Ace of Pence and the Four of Wands, that's a solid foundation. That's rebuilding from square one. And it's solid. So it's like you can't go wrong when you build on a solid foundation. Okay? So whatever you're considering your next move, it, it looks like it's solid. Okay? So can't really tell if you're listening to your gut here or not or if this is like a secret a secret situation because it, it's like some of you your guts telling you to take this opportunity and others of you it, it's like you're doing it in a sneaky way but it wouldn't be bad because your thought process behind it has good intention if that makes sense so over here we have a messenger. Um, the Knight of Swords is somebody who 
um, is seeking the truth, speaking the truth, more seeking. There's usually some um, hesitation. There's usually like, um, you know, the five of swords is here. So it, it's, it's conflict. It's, it's arguing, empress type energy. You're delivering messages. Like this is a message that's going to cause an argument. Because you got nine of swords, empress, five of swords. So this is how he or she is thinking. Or this is what's going on with a completely different energy because this is completely different than this is different if that makes sense so you could be arguing I don't think this is more of a mental battle I, I do feel like we have a feminine here that could possibly be hiding something doesn't necessarily have to be well yeah no it, it's not positive okay because it's next to the five of swords but she's kind of hiding behind her fan um, I kind of feel like they're in a ditch, whatever this situation is, and everyone's, not that everyone's against them, because it's almost like she's looking, it is, I, I don't know if it's malicious, if it was just in, in wanting to win, the Five of Swords is all about winning, um, wanting it all, like, no one else can win it's malicious it's you know it can be narcissism it could be hatred it could be revenge it could it could be a lot of things it's the five of swords Ooh, damn you got the moon at the bottom of the deck too so yeah see wow i knew see she's hiding something this is all about hiding not you know so i don't know what that's about let's find out real quick tell me about this empress first because even if it was all in her emotions, so I, maybe something's being hidden from her. The Six of Wands. Now, see, she wants to win. She wants to be the winner with the hangman. So she's trying to figure out how to win in a situation. Which is unfortunate. Tell me about the Five of Swords. So this is somebody who's going to cause arguments, bickering. You got the nine of swords, so she's she's worried, she's stressed out, or she's trying to manipulate somebody else to feel stressed out with the two of pens here. <sighs> Tell me about this king of swords. Five of wands, so he's battling too. So he's more, but you got the seven of wands, so he's standing his ground. He doesn't want to argue with this energy either, but he's conflicted and he's thinking about burning bridges because you got the match here. This is my burning bridges card and it, and it could be competitive. So it looks like you're dealing with a woman, an empress, that's usually a wife or an entrepreneur or somebody who has children. Um, he's dealing with somebody who is really competitive and wants to win and she's a little stressed out. Sometimes this is strategizing, this is anxiety. But if that's the case, it's because she's going to lose. The six of wands is victory. She's not she's not getting victory. So she's, I don't know, again, if we're going back to the plotting. He's ready to burn bridges. She's stressed out knowing that she's probably losing a battle. This is winning at all cost. And it's not, it's not happening. He's more guarded and he's blocking something. So it's either blocking what he knows, blocking what he's about to do, he or she, regarding on, you know, this, your disposition here. So what's this five of cups? So what you don't know is somebody's, you know, upset. I don't necessarily know if this is a, a petty situation. So we got the tower. So it could have been some type of ending, sudden, out of the blue is that the five of pence, eight of pence? This is somebody who probably wanted to work on something and it didn't pan out. Let's get one more. So this is something that's kind of like, um, it's like it didn't go in someone's direction with the page of pence, but it's a woman and you got the moon. So this is a lot of emotions right now too. Could be upset regarding a woman, um, not this is usually a messenger so again it's like a message 
that kind of has you bent out of shape or in your emotions. Three of Swords, you know, hurt, disappointed, Six of Pence, having the strength. So you got to pick yourself up here. So what you're not knowing is, is, see, this is difficult, though, because... It's hard. It's like a disappointing message. Tell me about this tower. So someone, if you did not have a tower moment, this is the other energy. Yeah, four of pens holding back. So you would know what this is if you're the one that felt like you had a tower, which is like some type of ending, catastrophe. With the Five of Cups, whatever the ending was is, is tough. It's sorrow, it's disappointing. You didn't like some type of message. Um, so you have an energy that's kind of like holding back because they just went through this or you went through this. So there could have been some type of ending. That had to have been because we had the world. The first card out was the Fool. So there's been some type of ending. You could have mentally made a decision to move forward and you're just not telling anybody about it. What is this high priestess? I feel like, to me, this would be following your gut with the fool and judgment. But with all the other cards that are on the board, I'm not quite sure. Eight of Pence. So yeah, you're working on something. It's like the King of Wands energy is is putting something together. Again, I'm a you know hate to assume, but it is more like following their gut with this energy. It's it's also secretive too though. But they're they're putting together something that's probably being kept from this energy or this energy. So possible outcome, you know, we have justice, we have the queen of pence. So this is, could be something going in your direction. It could be something karmic. But it looks like um, three of cups, six of pence. Could be given to too many situations here. Well, this could be you getting and receiving more, some type of gift that makes you happy. But I'm, for some, that not, there's a whole other story here. Because this would be dating, going out to dinner, you know, giving to m multiple energy. These are two kinds of giving, dating, happiness, getting together. Page of Cups, Chariot, Eight of Swords. Ace of Swords. It's like justice going in one's favor. But not with this. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. Yeah, Eight of Cups, Seven of Cups. So this is walking away from the Three of Cups. So there's too many people in the picture. Got the Eight of Wands. It's still messaging, going back and forth. Someone's still a little confused. This is usually strategizing with the Three of Cups. So this is something that didn't go in someone's favor, but is still kind of like trying to... I don't know if it's like pretending to be happy or just trying to, I don't know. I feel like it's, it's linked to this five of swords. So it, to me, it's, it's like that plotting, not winning. I don't, you know, um, and it doesn't even have to be malicious. What's this seven of cups? Oh, do I want the seven of cups? Hold on. I just want to actually see what direction that snake wanted to come out again. What the frig is that all about? I just want to see what justice is real quick. 
many options decision unconventional stringing along one night stand yeah so this is stringing along Tom is about to catch up to somebody either this energy feels like somebody else is walking away from them or they're walking see this energy is not walking away though they're still trying to strategize with the seven of cups this is somebody with the five of swords and the six of wands this is somebody who wants to win and is stressed out because something is not going in their favor. So the outcome doesn't look good. It looks like Kama is definitely going to catch up to somebody regarding a situation. I'm not really sure what it is, but it's something that ended. Yeah, see, codependent, listening to the ego. So this is somebody who doesn't want to let go of somebody. This is somebody still holding on, still trying to create balance, still trying to get someone to laugh, still trying to get somebody to partake, you know, go for a picnic, go to the movies, for instance. Um, let's go to a cookout. Let's do this. This is still somebody that wants to make sure that she still or he has that type of pull it just sucks because this is somebody who's stringing somebody along I don't know if somebody else is picking up on it so calm is catching up to this person okay so if you're in a situation right now and you know what this is regarding I really wouldn't worry about it Karma's catching up okay this is somebody who's not telling somebody their next action their next move either but something still ended Maybe it's just nobody else's business, you know? So, not really sure if you feel like you missed an opportunity there because this is second chances, like the opportunity was there. Let me go one more round with this deck and then I'm going to take it to Patreon. So, it looks like we have a brand new beginning, okay? Okay. We have something karmic that already ended, but we have somebody who is it, just still holding on, okay? So that's going to take a little longer to play out. I, don't, I feel like you should be more concentrated on the new beginning here. Someone definitely had a tower moment. You're still kind of holding on to some pain, disappointment. Okay, so we have the King of Pens here for the Ace of Pens. This is somebody solid, stable, but this is my ring around the rosy card. See, with the tower. So you could have had a masculine here that had a tower moment, which is, you know, making a decision. But we got the Three of Cups, so we have some jealousy here, too. Or it could be just something that's toxic. Again, it's almost like I want to pull another card on it, but I I need to go off of something when I go on to Patreon, okay? So don't feel like you're gypped if you guys are not on Patreon because I just gave plenty. And I'll recap at the end. But then from here on Patreon, I'm going to jump and look into these. Um, My link for Patreon is below, guys, okay? So tell me about this cool energy. So uh, this is more like taking a leap of faith, Ace of Swords. So yeah, the, the, the truth is coming about, you know, somebody going in a new direction with the chariot here. I could have sworn the chariot was at the bottom of this at some point too. So this is somebody who kind of wants to burn bridges. Let's go back to the Empress. The hermit. So she's being real quiet. She could know that somebody else is with somebody else. But still trying to offer something. Trying to offer, you know, a lemon that is not right. So she's she's literally going within. And this is not the right type of going within. Yeah, see the devil. It's, it's toxic. It's, it's unhealthy. It's, it's not good justice. So this is the one that's getting karma. So... There's a feminine here, could be masculine, but coming in as an empress that is like plotting and not in a good way. You know, this is like, um, 
a situation where you feel like you can't win or just very argumentative just to keep a conversation going will cause like a little rift in a situation. This is gossip. This is bad advice. This is now someone stressing out um, because something didn't go in their favor. And it's, it's, again, it's the devil. It's, you know, it's, it's toxic. This is, this is definitely a karmic situation. This is somebody who just wants to like, again, with the three of cups, want to come in, you want to go to the movies, you want to go for a walk, you want to, you know, take the kids here, you want to come over. If you have kids, if not, it's a business, like it's the same thing. I have a new business idea. I have a proposition. So be aware that that's coming. And if it's not regarding you, don't worry about it. It's, it's regarding, you know, someone else and let them deal with it. Because it looks like somebody knows exactly what they're doing. But I don't think they know exactly what this one is doing. But again, the tower already came in. So somebody's getting on the right path here. So try not to focus on the negative. Because I'm telling you, this what this is here is definitely going to take some time because somebody is like dragging their feet getting out of a situation not wanting to let go so you you gotta make moves okay you can't continue to stay in this energy and it looks like someone definitely is not when the tower came in but you have somebody that's not quite ready to let go this is again three of cups six of pence somebody who still wants somebody to give stringing along you have a feminine here stringing along because somebody else is walking away this is this is toxic it's codependent it's somebody who's needy somebody who who likes certain things somebody who likes certain ways certain lifestyles you know um maybe somebody else just doesn't see it but the cards the cards don't lie you know so And this is also kind of like what you don't see coming. This is somebody who's just like still, again, holding on, but somebody else that's going in a new direction, Queen of Swords. So yeah, it's an energy that's like about to get real pissed about a situation with the Ten of Swords. Why? Because something's over. Something didn't go in their favor with the wheel. So yeah, it's a karmic situation that's over. Others of you, somebody could be really upset that they could have possibly missed an opportunity with you and still holding on and you kind of turn your back, you're kind of cold, but doing your own thing at the same time. But again, if that's the case, don't worry about it. Keep doing your thing. Okay, if you turn your back, you have to have turn your back for a reason. the seven of swords possible outcome see there's still lies there's still deception you got the sun reversed i don't know if you're dealing with the leo but the four of swords you know holding on ten of pence again it could be for family reasons or financial reasons but this is the seven of swords this is no good you have a feminine over here or a masculine it's linked to the five of swords the seven of swords the six of wands somebody who wants to win Somebody who wants you to still give to them. This is somebody who only gives to you when you push away. This is like, I promise I'll do better. I promise I'll give more and they won't. So I don't know if somebody overextended themselves and made a promise to this energy, which was unrealistic. It was delusional with the seven of cups. It was unrealistic. You couldn't keep your promise. But this is like a situation where you shouldn't have even had to have kept a promise or made a promise because... There's somebody else's lie. So even if a masculine doesn't realize there's a feminine here that's like plotting or whatever the situation may be, karma's stepping in. The universe already stepped in with the tower. It's still going to go down. So like I said, this situation is not just going to go away overnight. All right, so don't drag your feet when it comes to certain stuff. You got to push through here because this is something that's just, it's, it's a no-go. This is somebody who just wants to stay. This is like clingy what is that stage five clingy stage 10 clingy okay but this energy is still lying with the seven of swords still lying about what they want this is not somebody who wants to be intimate this is somebody who has no intentions on being intimate or or speaking the truth here you could be dealing with a libra okay but this is someone who's lying about i'm happy with you 
let's do this, let's go out to dinner, let's talk about business, let's take the kids out. And it, it's all, this energy is doing this because, all because somebody's walking away with the Eight of Cups, okay? And could possibly be trying to keep somebody in a confused state. And I'm telling you, be careful, because with all this energy right now in Mercury, this is somebody that could purposely be trying to confuse you. Well, there's always this option. There's always this route. And it's like, this is that, just this person's way of staying attached. This is not somebody that wants to detach yet. This is somebody who's lying about situations, about what she wants. And karma's going to catch up whether somebody else knows it or not. Because behind the scenes, she was doing something malicious or wrong and if it wasn't malicious to that point, it was still wrong. And karma is finally catching up to somebody in this situation. And it doesn't have to be because of everything else, ladies and gents. It's just we all have our own karma, right? And whether you want don't want somebody else to hurt or feel it or you do, we can't control karma. They're going to get theirs no matter what. Whether it had to do with this new opportunity or not, it doesn't matter. Everybody knows, well, spirit knows. At the end of the day, your guides know what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. Right? So, a quick recap, and then I'm, I'm jumping to Patreon. So, this is, this is good, though. This is positive. This is mentally getting out of a situation, taking, it looks like, more of a leap of, a, of faith versus a risk, and is, like, working on something behind the scenes. Could be paperwork. It's definitely working on something, but it's it's positive. Having a new start, making a decision, okay? Um, talking about it, the truth could be coming out. They could, they could be possibly missing you. I'm not sure whose energy this is, but again, if it's, if you didn't really have a tower moment, then Again, try not to worry about it. Karma's catching up here. This is not somebody... It could be someone trying to circle back around, but you have an energy here that's not going to circle back around. And it's going to move forward. And then you still have a very toxic situation. Somebody that is very bent out of shape, causes arguments, you know, trying to ruffle your feathers. And you got an energy that's also trying to burn bridges here. So just let things play out. Nothing you can do about this. Someone thinks they're pulling the wool over your eyes. So be it. They could be, but Spirit's not going to let them get away with it. For those who believe. Cards don't lie. Okay, so... Um... I will see you guys on Patreon, but what a beautiful start to a new month, okay? This is taking a leap of faith. This is just, this is a lot of mental energy, so be careful. You're not overanalyzing. We'll look into that as I dig a little further. It does look like a decision was made to have a new start, but you probably are not aware that somebody even wants a new start with you or somebody else is not aware that you decided to have a new start and you just get yeah, out. Oh, it's like reset button, like rejuvenizing, like that's it. Because you're passing judgment on yourself, your own situation. So you're doing it methodically and practically. And it's good. You're no longer being indecisive. Remember I said because the world came in? So with this, is maybe you were being indecisive and you missed an opportunity. But it doesn't look missed. Because the Ace of Pens is still here and this is a brand new start. For those that, you know, karma is going to catch up. You know, it is what it is. Hopefully you learn from this and you don't make this mistake again in the future. We've ever had that happen to me too, guys. Trust me. It's like, damn, that backfired. You know? It's, it's life. Now I know not to do that. I don't mess with that shit. This is somebody who had, you know, not really good intentions. It's it's just that simple. This is somebody who just clinging, does not want to let go. But they don't have a choice. 
other things will crash in their life. They won't be able to keep somebody else clinging. Because karma's already hitting. This will hit somebody on so many different levels. It's not, this is like silly. This will crash. That It's just, it is what it is. Again, I've had that happen. Again, I would never put myself in the situation. I would never mess with energy, play with energy, play with magic, have ill intent. I could cry and it would suck, but you know what? Then that means I'm not supposed to be with that person or I'm not supposed to be in that situation. It's not really a loss. And I can see, because this is big, okay? This isn't just like little a little bit of karma catching up. This is somebody that was behind the scenes, was real quiet about it. You're dealing with somebody who's real quiet, but has, you know, not good intent at all you know it's like seeing someone's true colors so truth is coming out or this is just somebody else's it's just self clarity and congratulations keep pushing through even if this is just you and this is not any of you or this is a little bit and a little bit of this and a little bit of that regardless it's the first energy out it's the zero you go to the one don't don't drag your feet. This is decisiveness. It's beautiful to see that on my board. All right, y'all. I'll see you on Patreon. Bye, guys. Have a kick-ass week, and I'll see you soon.